Hey guys, Anthony here, Bibles and Barbells. The video you're going to see today is a video on my sanitation or hygiene kit. And what you see here is the complete kit in four five gallon pails. I basically put everything that I needed, or that I thought I needed, in these four buckets, which include two. Um, luggable loos or toilet seats that snap on to the five gallon bucket so I have two five gallon buckets that are ready for uh, to actually be used as toilets and two buckets from Home Depot actually all the buckets are from Home Depot these are new buckets that they have out with a cushioned handle and the nice thing about these is they're calibrated on the sides in gallons on one side and on the other side I believe it's liters which is very going to be very important for processing and um, processing and purifying sterilizing water in the field and then I bought these these lids these gamma lids for these two cans these are the gamma lids the gamma seal lids you can get these now in Home Depot I think they're $7.95 each. Uh, very good, indispensable lid. They, this ring snaps on to your 5-gallon or 4-gallon or 6-gallon bucket. Uh, your contents inside here. And then a watertight, nice screw top lid on top of your can. These go perfect. And these cans are, these white cans are see-through. Not totally see-through, but you could see, you know, some of the items inside there. Um, they're about $4.95 each, I think, at Home Depot. They're worth the price because, like I said before, the uh, calibrations on the cans, especially for sanitation. So this video is coming to you after I saw a video from Cat's Cradle, uh, a YouTube channel. I'll put in the description box. She did a video a few weeks ago on her kit and after I saw her video I went back and looked at my sanitation readiness, my hygiene readiness and saw that it was lacking and so that's why the YouTube community is so great that you know you learn from each other and that's one of the reasons why um, you know you watch other people's videos that you subscribe to and you get some ideas from them and you learn from them and so I took what I saw from her and I kind of built this kit based on hers and then my own personal uh, needs that I thought I needed. So we're going to lay out these buckets one at a time. I'm going to show you what's in them and how I pack them and the ideas behind it. And I'd like to get comments from everyone on uh, you know, items I have or don't have. Uh, and some, you know, so any constructive criticism would be much appreciated. And I'm sure I'll get some. Okay, so let's start out with the first one. We'll open it up and we'll go right through the contents right down to the uh, fourth one. All right, bucket number one. Here's the empty bucket. Five-gallon bucket lined with just a regular trash liner. You can't have enough trash liners, so I line all my buckets with them and then pack everything inside of them. Here's your luggable loo seat. This clips, this seat clips down on your bucket, and then your lid shuts down and goes on top of your bucket. So these lids are around twelve dollars. You can get them in any camping store. You can get them online. I've I've gone to the bathroom on a five-gallon bucket without these lids, and this this type of lid makes it a lot more comfortable to sit on a bucket without a lid. So you should have it. You should have at least one. I'm just going to go down the items. I'm not going to go into detail on every item, but uh, in this first bucket, you know, some deodorants, soap, a glow stick, a multifunction stick that lasts, I believe, uh, up to 200 hours. You can get these anywhere, Home Depot. Uh, Q-tips, toothbrushes, women's razors, body uh, pre-moistened uh, washcloths, a 12-pack of razors, a, a bag here with a nail clipper, some coarse 
fingernail files, some black electrical tape, camp matches, and then a snap glow stick, an empty bottle, which I'll tell you what I'm going to use that for in a second, two bars of dial soap, Clorox disinfecting wipes, uh, this is a spray that uh, Cat's Cradle talked about in her video. This is a, like an industrial janitorial, janitorial spray that comes in a biohazard kit that I had. And it basically kills, you know, HIV and all those different diseases on contact. So that's in this bucket as well. Shaving cream, uh, Purell hand sanitizer, mouthwash, toothpaste, Joy dishwashing liquid which uh, I think Joy is the best one. I've used it for years. Uh, I used to clean uh, windows, and I uh, used to use Joy in the water to clean the windows. It really cuts down grease and dirt. Very good product. A 48-ounce uh, bottle of bleach that was in that bucket, and a 6-pound container of scented, scoopable cat litter uh, for putting on your waist. Uh, for soaking up moisture and so that's bucket number one and I'll pack these items back in and put bucket number two on there okay now I may rearrange how these buckets are packed out at the end but basically all these items are in my kit all right bucket number one is right there bucket number two as you can see is emptied same thing you got the lid Right down the line here, there's some redundancy in some of the items. Um, you'll see in this in, when I go down the line here. But some woolite for washing uh, some clothing. Another battery-operated glow stick, which is also a whistle and a signal light. Some more razors, shaving cream, more trash bags, a small backpack shovel for digging a latrine or digging a small hole. Gorilla tape, which you could use for a million and one different things. A pack of different assorted combs, different sizes, different styles. Absorbent gel for bloodborne or vomit, stuff like that. You could also use the kitty litter, but there's some absorbent gel. Biohazard bags for any blood waste right here. And notice I have Ziplocs also within these products within them to keep them separated from each other when they're packed away. Just in case, uh, you know, something breaks or falls away, it it's, stays within its pack. Another glow stick, some small tea light -like candles, some stormproof matches uh, packed away in plastic. 50 feet of poly cord. Uh, very important, these are toilet bags, toilet liners for the five gallon buckets. There's uh, 12 in this kit here. I just kept them in the original pack. There's some Wisp toothbrushes that have the, you know, the on the run toothbrush that has the toothpaste built in it. A couple little tubes of mouthwash. Some deodorants, more hand sanitizer, a box of uh, safety pins. Right there. This is the Coleman uh, 20 packets of tank deodorizer to put inside the uh, your uh, hygiene buckets when you when you use them for absorbing waste and odor odor removal. A bag of gloves, which I'm going to probably add more gloves. A shower curtain liner. Cat's Cradle talked about can be used for a number of things. Uh, one of them being to make a, a small enclosure uh, to put your toilet up and set your toilet facility up for privacy. Uh, deep woods off. Um, down here, this is the one that kills the West Nile virus. Uh, down here in South Florida, um, basically you need this all year long if you're going to be outside. Also, that goes along with that is some SPF 50 uh, spray for sunblock. More toothbrushes and you know I pick these toothbrushes up when I go to the Target or to the grocery store. They come with a, they're basically a buck. They come with a toothbrush, toothpaste and a cap 
Uh, I just pick up two or three whenever I go. The more of these that's in the kit, the better. I don't know how many people, uh, you know, you never know how many other people are going to be without a toothbrush. And so you always want a couple extra to share. A roll of bounty uh, paper towel. And then in this bag here, it's basically a, a five liter dry bag. And in here I have my toilet tissue, two rolls of toilet tissue, and four wash rags at the top. I want to make sure my toilet tissue stays dry uh, all the time. And so that's why it's packed inside this uh, bag here and it has a little clear window. This bag could also double as a small laundry bag. You could fill it with water and clean your underwear, your socks, a shirt, a pair of shorts. Just shake it up with a little soap inside of it and you know you could rinse out your stuff in a bucket. And so that, that bag has multi-uses as well as being able to carry water. And so there is bucket number two, guys. Bucket number two. Let's get ready for bucket number three. Okay, moving along. Bucket number three, you can see it's open. There's the gamma lid right here. And inside bucket number three, you see two full-size folded-up towels. I'm going to leave those in the bucket and then moving down the list here a small roll of garbage bags just an all-purpose cloth a zip bag with some toothpaste mouthwash tissues a 3M mask some um, ponchos a small signal mirror and that's it for there uh, another Part of the biohazard kit that I showed you earlier, a pair of gloves, some booties, a little uh, apron that you put on if you're cleaning up bloodborne waste. Again, in its own little Ziploc. This is my shower kit. It's basically one of those showers that you fill up with water. It's a five gallon bag. You lay it out in the sun for a while and you hang it from a tree or rig it up somehow. And then here's my shower kit that goes with it with the cap and the shower nozzle and with an on off spigot uh, for washing yourself out in the field. Some power cord, vitally important. A large figure nine with I think 10 or 12 feet of cordage to rig for a clothesline or for anything else, um, a ridge line. A baseball cap some soaps and, and um, body products here. Here's some bamboo utensils in the pack. A pack of tissue to go. And one of those ones you buy in the camping store. Um, a foldable saw. Wood saw. Another trowel. A small aluminum one liter bottle. A magnetic set of measuring spoons from a quarter teaspoon to a tablespoon and also has the milliliter equivalent you have one side shaped like this and the other side is circular shampoo body wash a poncho a notepad with a pen and pencil inside the notepad inside the uh, this poncho kit here and right now that is bucket number three let's get bucket number four okay guys bucket number four there's our first three buckets sitting back here bucket number four you can see is emptied it's got the liner in it there's the gamma seal lid uh, some extra trash bags some smaller trash bags in this uh, Ziploc, some zip ties, very important item here I have a pack of 10 3M N95 masks, a very important item they're sealed and they'll be in bucket number four a large one gallon Ziploc empty, uh, a good heavy duty pair of work gloves uh, adjustable wristband, two microfiber towels. Again, you could use these for multiple 
duties is, is um, also for filtering water out, uh, if you're pulling water out of a lake or something. Uh, some women's products, two bags of women's products, a folding camp shovel, and little spike here for digging, burying your waste. I think that's a very important item to have. There's a Mora clipper knife with a neck, some paracord to wear around my neck. There's a redhead uh, bushcraft knife, three inch blade with a leather sheath. You can never have too many cutting tools. Uh, an all around uh, crank radio, weather radio. Um, I thought it would be important to have a small, like, one gallon bucket for mixing or for washing or shaving. To have that within the bucket, I think, is indispensable. My Stanley kit that I did a review on recently, right here, for cooking or boiling water. GSI Glacier Cup, which is a great cup to have. And the Stanley lid also fits the Glacier Cup, which is, you got a two for one there. The Flyway Backpack, which I did a video on recently. A pair of safety sunglasses. A 96 gallon, excuse me, 96 ounce, two gallon, sorry, water bag that I could carry. That's foldable, that's labeled, and calibrated. Carabiner, my Best Glide anodized aluminum survival tin with sealed rubber gasket, sealable clasps to hold the lid on. And in this kit, I have a compass, some first aid some sporks, some pencils, some dryer lint, some cordage. Inside this kit also goes this Altoid tin kit with a fire steel, a lighter, um, a can opener, a pencil sharpener for kindling wood. Um, and that all nests away in this tin. And I think that is completes bucket number four. Aside from some assorted bandanas, which I'm going to add, I think they're important to have. I was wanted to reach out and ask a question on this product here, which is Pool Shock. I've been watching a lot of videos on water purification, and this seems to be a very important product for long-term water purification. Now, you noticed I had in one of the buckets the 48-ounce uh, bottle of bleach, but bleach liquid form does not have the shelf life uh, that we would want for disinfecting water, so it would have to be changed out. This powdered form of calcium hypochlorite, you can see this is at least 73% calcium hypochlorite, uh, can be used to making thousands of gallons of water for processing. So this will make your, your stock chlorine solution, and then also a basic pool testing kit that I bought recently that tests the pH and the parts per million of chlorine in your water. I don't know how important this calcium hypochlorite is to put within this kit, but I think I'm going to pack it away as a side kit and take it along with my hygiene, this hygiene kit as well. I just want to figure out the best way to pack it because um, you got to be careful how you store this and what you store this up against. Right now I just have it in a small Tupperware and it's tucked away until I decide what to do with it. So I'd like some feedback from the YouTube community on the calcium hypochlorite. But uh, basically right now that's my hygiene kit. I hope it's, I think it's as complete as I could get it, uh, but I'd like some feedback on items I should take out or add or maybe add another bucket with uh, a fifth bucket and just pack everything that I need. I was thinking maybe a bigger cook pot, uh, but um, you know I think the basics are covered in this kit. So thanks for joining me. I appreciate your support. Hope I get some good feedback on this. I know there's a lot of preppers out there and people that uh, stress the, the importance of hygiene, especially in a disaster situation, um, can make the difference between life and death. Uh, Anthony signing off. Take care.